गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम गौरव गुप्ता एज यूर मैथमेटिक्स टीचर टूडे वी डिस्कस और सेकेंड चैप्टर एक्सरसाइज टू पॉइंट टू बिफोर टू स्टार्ट द एक्सरसाइज फर्स्टली वी हैव टू डू इट्स एग्जाम्पल्स बिकॉज एवरी वन नो एग्जाम्पल्स आर द बेस टू डू एक्सरसाइज सो वी कैन नॉट स्टार्ट डायरेक्टली एक्सरसाइज सो फर्स्टली वी हैव टू डू इट्स एग्जाम्पल्स again i request everyone please listen to me carefully and watch carefully and there is no need to continuously note down the matter because i have given time to you to take as a screenshot or to make a note so don't waste my time let's come on our first question so first question is what should be added to twice the rational number everyone will be know about the rational number what are the rational number rational number are those number which can be right in terms of p by q it means we can write in terms of divide by where Q never be equal to zero. It means the denominator never be zero. Because if we take denominator as zero and we divide any number with zero, we get undefined number. It means we doesn't know what's the number or what will be the result. So Q never be equal to zero. So now the question what? ask what should be added it means we have to add and what we have to add it now suppose we add x x we have to add add as sign plus now question to the twice of the rational number question ask we have to add we take x which we have to add on which number twice twice means double of the number it means double two times the rational number minus 7 by 3 it means double of the rational number 7 by 3 to get it means if we add these two number we get an another number which one is our result and that result is 3 by 7 which is equal to 3 by 7 again i repeat what should be added we have let number is x we have to add it means we have to sign plus on which twice twice means two times two times the rational number minus 7 by 3 minus 7 by 3 to get it means if we add these two number we get an another number which is equal to 3 by 7 now the question is solved we have to solve and calculate the values of x and x is your final answer now solve it x plus firstly we have to multiply and this number is in terms of p by q and this number is not in terms of p by q so firstly we have to take in terms of p by q 2 divided by 1 multiply minus 7 divided by 3 is equal to 3 by 7 i make it as a rational number because if we divide any number by 1 we get the same result so any number can be divided by 1 it doesn't change the result that's why i take its denominator denominator part as 1 x plus now multiply numerator multiply with numerator and denominator multiply with denominator means upper part multiply by upper part and lower part multiply with lower part 
So 2 multiply by 7 which is equal to 14. But if any number has doesn't sign, it means the sign is positive. So here sign is positive. If we multiply positive negative, positive negative, we get negative. It means we get negative. Now 1 multiply 3 which is equal to 3 is equal to 3 by 7. Now next x if plus minus plus minus is minus so we take sign as negative 14 upon me 3 which is equal to 3 by 7 now we have to calculate the values of x so you have to separate x and the old terms take it on another side so we take x on left hand side so remaining terms we take it on the right hand side so x is here 3 by 7 and this negative term we take it on right hand side and you don't if we take any term on left hand side to right hand side or right hand side to left hand side if we interchange the position the sign of that term will be changed here sign is negative then if we take this term on to the right hand side its sign will be changed so we get plus 14 upon me 3 now we have to add this and how we will add firstly we have to take its LCM here number is 7 and this number is 3 and then what will be the LCM of 7 and 3 is 21 so we get 21 now 7 divided by 21 is 3 3 3 is a 9 plus 3 is 7 7 14 if we multiply 14 into 7 what we will get 98 now we will add 98 and 9 which is equal to 107 divided by 20 means we get 107 upon me 21 this one is your final answer please make a note now we do our next example what he said the present age of Sahil mother is three times the present age of Sahil. After five years, their ages will add to 66 years, find their present age. I again repeat this question. The present age of Sahil. In this question, two ages we have to give up. First is age of the Sahil. Second is age of the Sahil's mothers. So firstly we have to assume the age of Sahil. Because in this question we have given the present age of Sahil's mother. It means we have given not the age of Sahil's. We have given Sahil's mother age. So we have to take assume the present age of Sahil's then we can easily calculate the age of Sahil's mother. Clear, to me? Clear my point? Again I repeat. In this question, not given the age of Sahil's, but given the age of Sahil's mother. Here, the age of Sahil's mother is three times the present age of the Sahil's. It means we have doesn't, we have not know the age of Sahil's. So we assume the present is of the Sahil's. Let present is
of surface is x years. Are you clear, my point? Present age. It means we are talking today's age of the sahil is x year. Then what will be the age of its his sahil's mother? Because sahil's mother age is three times. Suppose if I take an example, if sahil age is seven year, then what will be the age of its sahil mothers? He it says uh, sahil's mother age is three times. Means three multiply seven is equal to twenty one years. Now the same here. We assume the age of sahil age is x years. Then what will be the age of sahil's mother? Three times three multiply by x. So present age of sahil's mother. Is three x three multiplied by x. Now, again, okay, after five years, after five years, suppose if I am today twenty-five years, then what will be the age of my after five years? Twenty-five plus five. Which one is equal to thirty years? Same we have to do in this question. The present age of sahil is x. Then after five years is x plus five. And same sahil's mother is three x. Then after five years is three x plus five. After five years. Sahil's age is x plus five years. Sahil's mother age is three x plus five years. Now their ages will add. It means. If we add their ages, ages means if we add Sahil age plus Sahil's mother age, we get sixty-six years. We get sixty-six, and we know Sahil's age is. X plus five plus size mother age is three x plus five, which is equal to sixty six. Now x will add with x and number add with number. So x plus three x is equal to four x. Five plus five is equal to ten. Is equal to sixty six. We take ten to the right side. Four x is equal to sixty-six. Here sign is positive, then it will be negative on the right hand side. Then what we will get? We get fifty-six. Now this we have to calculate x. Four is multiplied by x. If we take it on right hand side, and you know. If we take any term, multiply with any number or variable, if we take it on another side, then multiply terms becomes the divide term. On if we interchange the digit, again I repeat, we have to calculate the values of x. But four is multiplied with x. If we take it on right hand side, here it is in form of multiplication, and if we take it on right hand side, it becomes in Divide form. Then x is equal to 56 divided by 4, and 56 divided by 4 is equal to 14. Clear my point? Now 14. X is equal to 
now we have calculate the present age of sahil and we know present age of sahil is x is means this one is your sahil present age and present age of sahil's mother is 3x 3 multiply x which is equal to 3 x value is 14 which is equal to 42 sahil mothers is again i repeat the question please make a note again i repeat the question here the question said the present age of sahil's mother is 3 times the sahil's age in this question we have given the age of sahil's mother not the age of sahil so we have to assume the age of sahil first so in this we have take present age of sahil is x years then what will be the age of sahil's mother which is 3 times so This age of Sahil, if we multiply by it three, so it becomes three times the age of Sahil. So in this case, present age of Sahil's mother is three x. Again, I give an example. If I take the present age of Sahil is five years, then what will be the age of Sahil's mother? Sahil's mother is three times. It means three. Multiply by five, which is equal to fifteen. Same here, we multiply three, multiply x to three x. Now question said after five years, it means if suppose I my age is twenty five years, and after five years, what will be the age of my twenty five plus five, which is equal to thirty. Same did I here. Present age of Sahil is x. Then after five years is x plus five. Same here. Present age of Sahil mother is three x. Then after five years, three x plus five. Now the question said add two. If we add them, so we add Sahil says Sahil's mother is. We add both them. We get sixty six. We get sixty six. Now we have to solve this. X will add with x. X plus three x is equal to four x. We get four x. Five plus five is equal to ten, which is equal to sixty six. Now we take ten on the right hand side. Sixty six minus ten, which becomes fifty six. Now we have to calculate the values of x. So here four is multiplied with x. We take it on right hand side, and it becomes in divide form. Then four divide fifty six divided by four is which is equal to forty. So we get x, and what is x? X is your present age of son. So we get Sahil's present age is 14. Then what will be the Sahil's mother? Is he? She is. She is three times. It means 14 multiplied by three. We get 42 years. And Sahil age is 14 years, and Sahil's mother age is 42 years. Please make a look. So we take our next example. What it say? The perimeter of a rectangle is thirteen centimeter, and its width is two mixed fraction three by four. Find its length. So in this case, we Have given two things. First one is your perimeter, and second one is your width. And we have to calculate its length. So everyone know about the perimeter. Perimeter means the addition of the four side of the rectangle is called perimeter. Please make a look. This is the shape of rectangle, and this is your length. This is breadth. This is length, and this is also breadth. And perimeter is what? Perimeter is simply the addition of all the sides of its boundary. 
it means if we move from one place and come back to the same place what we have covered total distance which is called perimeter suppose if we move a b c d what we have covered if we suppose we have moved start from a we have covered first l distance then we cover b distance then we cover l distance then we cover b distance so we reach at the point a again firstly we have to cover l then we have b then we have l again we have to b now if we add this l plus l is equal to 12 b plus b is equal to 2b this is your perimeter or you know simply the formula of the perimeter is if we take it 2 as common then it becomes L plus B which is equal to perimeter of rectangle this is the formula of the perimeter of the rectangle this is equal to twice 2 times the sum of the length plus breadth in this question what we have to given we have given perimeter of a rectangle is it means we have given perimeter is equal to 13 cm its width width means breadth we have given two mixed fraction 3 by 4 width or breadth two mixed fraction 3 by 4 let's change it into simple fraction 4 to the 8 8 plus 3 11 11 by 4 centimeter so in this we know perimeter and breadth now we have to calculate L means we have find L we have to find L now substitute all these value in the formula this one is your form. Here perimeter and we know the perimeter is 13 centimeter. So we take 30 is equal to 2, 2. Multiply L, we know no. B, breadth, we know breadth is 11 divided by 4. Now we have to solve this and get the values of L. Firstly, 2 is multiplied by this term and if we take it on right hand side then it becomes a divide form. 13 divided by 2 which equal to L plus 11 divided by 4. Now we have to calculate L so we have to separate L and if all the terms related to L take it on the other side. Here the term is 11 by 4 so we take it on left hand side here 13 by 2 take it it has positive sign then it becomes on left hand side negative sign minus 11 by 4 which is equal to L now take its LCM the LCM of 2 and 4 is 4 if we divide by 2 we get 2 2 multiply 13 is 26 negative 11 what will be 26 minus 11 which is equal to 15 divided by 4 this one is your answer now you can also write in terms of mixed fraction if we divide 15 divided by 4 4 3 is a 12 we get 3 it means the answer will be also be 4 remainder is 3 3 by 4 
4 3 is a 12 plus 3 15 by 4. Both the answer can be found in your final or mathematics book. Please make a note. Now we take our next example. What it say? Bansi has three times as many two rupees coins as he has. It means this statement has two means Bansi and he has. Bansi and he because he is a pron pronoun of Bansi. It means he and Bansi are same. So the statement said Bansi has 2 rupees coins as well as 5 rupees coins but the number of coins of 2 rupees is 3 times the number of coins of 5 rupees. Again I repeat this Bansi has 3 times as many 2 rupees coins as he has. This statement says that uh, Bansi has 2 rupees coins as well as 5 rupees coins. But the number of coins, when I am talking to number of coins, number of coins of 2 rupees is 3 times the number of coins of 5 rupees. It means this statement gives the number of coins which depends on the number of coins of 5 rupees. So we don't know the number of coins how many. So we have to let the number of 5 rupees coins first. Let number of 5 rupees coins is x. We let number of coins of 5 rupees is x. Then what will be the number of coins? Because the number of coins, 2 rupees coins is 3 times. 3 times. So, number of 2 rupees coins is 3 times. 3 multiplied by x which is equal to 3x or you can simply write as simply 3x because this statement indicate 3 multiplied by x. So this one is your number of 5 rupees coins and this one is your number of coins of 2 rupees but we don't know the amount. Suppose I take an example. If I have 5 rupees coins okay and how many? Again I said I have 2 5 rupees coins. It means we have 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. Or we can simply multiply 5 2 multiply by 5. We get 10 rupees. Again I repeat the question. If suppose we have I have 5 rupees coins. And number of 5 rupees coins is 10. Then what I have the amount of 5 rupees. It means 10 multiplied by 5 is equal, is equal to 50. So I have 50 rupees. Same here. This one is your number of coins. If we multiply its amount, amount, amount means money. what we have in terms of 5 rupees coins and 2 rupees coins because it is this is number of coins and this is the amount of one coin so 5 multiply x is 5x and this one is 2 rupees coin and how many coins are 3x then what we have the amount or we have the money to multiply 3 which is equal to 6x. Again I said, I take an example. If I have 
five rupees coin. I have five rupees coins, and number of coins I have three. Then what I have money? Five plus five plus five. This is equal to fifteen. Or you can say that I have coins. Three number of coins is three, and amount of or money of one coin is five. Three multiplied, which is equal to fifty. Similarly, here we get here this one is your number of coins, and this is the money. So money multiplied by with coins number of coins five multiplied by x is five x and three x multiplied by two is six x this is the money in terms of five rupees coins and two rupees coins now question if we has in all all means total it means according to question sum means Money, five rupees coins plus money, two rupees coins. This means uh, what we have: money in terms of five rupees coins and money in terms of two rupees coins. If we total add, we get a sum of seventy-seven. Means we have seventy. Seven. Now five rupees coin money is five x, and two rupees money is six x, which is equal to seventy seven x. Now add five x plus six x is equal to eleven x is equal to seventy seven. Now we have to calculate the values of x. So now we have to take eleven on the right side, and it becomes in divide form. Seventy-seven divided by eleven, eleven seven is seventy-seven. So we get x is equal to seven. Clear? Now question: How many coins? It means we have to calculate the number of coins, and we know the number of coins is five rupees coins is x. So Number of coins of rupees five, which is equal to x, and what we have the value of x is seven. It means answer is your seven. Now number of two rupees coins. So number of coins of rupees two. Which is equal to three x. It means three multiply x, and the value of x is seven. Three into seven is twenty one. This one is your final answer. I hope this will be clear to you. Please make a look. Okay, let's we take our next example. What it said? The sum of the three consecutive. Consecutive means continuously. If suppose first one, first number is one, then second number is two, and third number is three. These are the continuously number is called consecutive numbers. Consecutive multiple. And you know multiple. Suppose example. Multiple of three. Multiple of three means three multiply one, three. Three multiply two, six. Three multiply three, nine. Three multiply four, twelve. These are the multiple of three. So in this we have to take multiple of eleven. And continuously, not take a gap between the number. And we have to take three multiple of numbers. What's the basic step? How we take these three numbers? Firstly, look at this. 
of first number is is three. And if we add get if we want to get the multiple of three, it means we have to add three. And second number is three plus three is equal to six. If we want to get our third multiple of three, third number multiple of three means we have to add three plus three plus three, which is equal to nine. This one is your third multiple of three. So it's not necessary. The starting number is three. The number may be start from nine. If the number start from 9, then what are the 3 multiple of 3? First one is what? 9. Second is 9 plus 3, which is equal to 12. Next is 9 plus 3 plus 3 is equal to 15. So your number is 9, 12 and 15. It means when we are talking to our consecutive number, then it is not said that uh, the starting number is your first multiple. For example, if there is 3 multiple of 3, it does not mean the starting number is 3. It may be anywhere. But where it starts, we get another two numbers. The whole three numbers are called the consecutive numbers. So in this, we do not know about the first number. So we have to assume our first number. So let us take or assume our first multiple of number is x. Let first number multiple of 11 is x. What I consider? I consider our first number which is multiple of 11 is x then what will be the second conjugative number and second conjugative number is x plus 11 because we have to add the multiple here same because first number is 3 then we have to add 3 plus 3 it means we have to get at the same which we want to get the which we want to get multiple here we get the multiple of 11 so we add 11 now third conjugative number is again we have to add 11 now these are our three conjugative multiple of 11 now the sum it means we have given sum is 363 it means if we add all these three consecutive multiple of 11 we get a number which is equal to 363 so we add this so according to caution our first consecutive number is first number plus second number plus third number and we get 3 6 3 now substitute each value of the number first first number is x the second number is x plus 11 our third number is x plus 11 plus 11 which is equal to 3, 6, 3. Now solve this. x plus x, 2x plus x, 3x. 11 plus 11, 22 plus 11, 33 is equal to 3, 6, 3. And we have to calculate the values of x. So we separate x. Firstly, we take 33 as a positive, take it on the right hand side. The sign of the 33 will be changed. What we will get? 363 minus 33. If we subtract this, we get 330. Now we have to get the values of x and take 3 
from the right hand side and it goes to the divide c 30 divided by 3 but we will get 1 1 0 it means how x is equal to 1 1 0 this is our first number it's our first number and second number will be first we are x then second is x plus 11 it means we have to add 11 if we add 11 in 110 but we will get 110 plus 11 is equal to 121 it means our second number is 121 and third number is Our third number is 121 plus 11, 132. This is your third number. Please make a note. So please, I request to note down this format, not uh, whatever I give in examples. So just examples I have given is basic for to understand the concept so you have to write in your fair notebook only this please make a note again once